Because there's nothing going on in his stupid little head. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. What happened? Did your, your balls drop off? Get off my lawn. Get off my plane. I want to suck you off, Steve. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You thinking what I'm thinking, partner? Aim for the bushes. So, my foot's totally stuck in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking out. The dog's having a seizure. Oh man! And I still have half a pie left. Well, okay. What kind of what kind of what kind of pie are we talking here? It was pumpkin pie. It was it was last fall, you know. When you yeah. Eat pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin pie. Man. You're not? No. That's like the only pie I eat, honestly. Ew. Yeah. Uh, can Ew. we can we get back to pumpkin the pie? pie can we get back to the pie talk later on? Well. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Cole's we're just talking about. Well, we took all day. We took all day to get like together to record this, and then as soon as we're like ready to record, you start telling us stories. Well, yeah, because uh, you did just start kind of telling. Well, you us guys, stories. you guys love my stories. You guys, we you do, guys but we do. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Vicariously. <clears throat> yeah, you told me that once. Yeah, that one time. Whatever we can do, whatever, what Super Corbin wants to do. Corbin wants to record episode eight of Aiming for the Bushes, and Corbin Barnes is myself, and I'm here with my co-host, Cole Brandt. Yeah, who cares who I am? <laughs> and BJWP. Hi, how are you? <laughs> wow. 2007. Was this, is this the newest movie that we've done so far? Yeah, I think so. Is it the newest movie? Okay. I think so. 2007, we're yeah. only... We'll get to a present day movie eventually. Yeah, one of these days, you know. Yeah. Maybe we won't. Yeah, two thousand and seven. We were we were eleven. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. Take yourself back. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what? But what? What's significant about two thousand and seven, Cab? There's yeah. a there's a movie named yeah. after a train time and destination called Three Ten to Yuma, a western flick. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Uh, uh, giddy, giddy up, boys. Giddy up, boys. Wop, wop, wop. <laughs> Get him. Um, you know, this movie, uh. Wop, wop, wop. Yee. <laughs> it came out I'll in 2007. Okay. Uh, this Western is a train movie. <laughs> 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 Starring Christian Bale and Russell Crowe, <laughs> and um, an escort has to be done, but we'll get into the details later. Oh, let's uh, not get too ahead of ourselves. Yeah. This is a remake from uh, a 1957 <laughs> flick of the same name, 310 to Yuma. I think it's important for the people who are just listening that the 310 is written as if it's a time on the clock. That is So important. like it's 3 yeah. colon 10. So I yeah. think that's just important because I mean, some people might think of that like it's an address or something, but <laughs> it doesn't sound like an address. That's true. Yeah. We, you're you're always thinking of the people. Yeah, of course. Just trying to think of our listeners, our great listeners, also, all around the world out there. Also, uh, Yuma is in it's Arizona. In Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't love the desert? That's where I'm going to go when I retire. The desert. Yeah. It seems hot in the day and cold at night. That's exactly how the yeah. desert works, Cole. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's how it seems to me. Anyway. That's how, like, um, summer works. Well, summer's too. not cold at night. It can get always. cooler. It can get cooler. <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's cold. You ever been outside at night in the summertime? I mean, yeah. Sometimes it's chilly. Yeah. You put, like, Feels a, nice. put, like, a light jacket on. Maybe. Yeah, but, like, it's still chilly. It's still cold. Yeah, but... Uh, Technically, there's no such thing as cold, actually, what too. The, what? You, what? How? Um, actually, it's just there's less kinetic energy, so which causes the cold. absence of heat. The absence of heat, is, which causes cold. Yeah, that's kind of the word we use for it. But well, you can just say the same thing about heat or hot. It could be the absence of cold. Okay. Judging <laughs> 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 by how greasy and sweaty Christian Bale's hair is in this movie, I think they were hot a lot of the time. Yeah, it seemed pretty steamy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, so th this flick is uh, another one of those. I keep picking movies that I've like 
uh, watched a million times in my youth that just have a nostalgic yeah, big place time. in my heart. And this was another one of those. It's a great movie. And I hadn't watched. I've like seen it a hundred times as like a teenager, but never as a young adult. So going back to watch it, I like appreciated it a lot more. I agree because there's a lot of really badass parts in it. Yeah, it's a great movie. for a modern, modernish western. Casted yeah. very well as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they blew up a horse. I had never seen. <laughs> I, had never, I had never even seen any part of this movie. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting that you never it's saw. It's directed uh, by by James Mangold. James Mangold. <clears throat> and what else is he known for? He directed uh, Walk the Line, which is you know. Johnny Ooh. Cash. Okay. He was, he was a country singer that died yeah. like a few years ago. Who was that? Who's Johnny that Cash. Johnny Cash yeah. is his name. Okay. Yeah, he had a lot of hits. But James Mangold also directed uh, The Wolverine, which is, remember when Ooh. we saw that in the theater? We yes. hated it. I hated it so yeah, much. Yeah, it. that movie yeah. sucked. Wolver- was, that, was that the Wolverine origin movie? Yes. No, 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 no. no. It was. This, this is when he goes to Japan. No, that's. He's uh, in Japan. That's, yeah. That's uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, right. Oh, it's this is the Wolverine. The where he Wolverine. goes to Japan. He goes to Japan. And it's just in sh- stupid shit. Oh, shows. it's one of the worst movies. That was one of the worst movies <laughs> I had ever yeah. seen. It was so boring. And then the end, it was just. Yeah, oh it, was, it was dumb. So thanks, James Mangold, for that one. But he also directed <laughs> Logan. Oh, oh well, that movie's pretty good. Is, is very good. <laughs> and for Aviv Ferrari, which uh, never saw that. So I, never, I never saw, but Christian Bale's also in that. Yeah, one. he's worked with Christian a few times. Then, yeah. yeah. By the way, no, Christian, Christian Bale's a like a foot in this movie. Yep, missing a leg. Yeah, James he's all righty. <laughs> James Mangold, <laughs> he's yeah. full-bodied. Yeah. He's got to have yeah. some sort of dismemberment in his yeah. movies. You should Absolutely. direct a Star Wars movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's always... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there Anyways. like a dismemberment in all the newer ones, too? Yeah, in every Star Wars movie, <coughs> someone loses an arm or a hand. <laughs> always, I guess it's always a hand, because arm, arm, hands are part of arms. <laughs> yeah. You can't lose part of your arm without losing your hand. That's yeah. like the minimum that you have to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can lose your hand and not your arm, but you can't lose your arm and not your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Word. <laughs> well put. Word. <laughs> and if a rat goes... <laughs> <laughs> and if a rat is inside, it becomes it's, it's a, mouse. a mouse. And if a mouse goes outside, it's a rat. They're amphibious. Yeah. You see? They can live in both domains. Yeah. And they just transform. <laughs> yeah, this movie's why Christian Bale is one of my favorite actors, too. Oh, and you added, know what else I, I noticed about that him... He, much like uh, Nick Cage, uh, he either uh, whispers and speaks really softly or screams. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed the same thing about Russell you know, Crowe. The- Russell Crowe kind of does Russell Crowe whispers also- or talks yeah. softly in every single movie he's in. Yeah. He talks softly a lot in Gladiator, too. Yep. If you talk and soft. in that boxing movie. Yeah. James J. Braddock. C- <laughs> Cinderella yep. Man, is that? Cinderella, Cinderella Man, man yeah. yeah. That's how you know you're a good actor if you speak softly. But yeah. yell when you have to. <laughs> right. right. No, nothing else, though. That's, there's nothing else you really need to be a good actor. Yeah. I uh, can't What's recall if I mentioned this, but the original came out in 1957, and it was starring Glenn Ford. Uh, I wish I would have done a little more research on the original to see what the uh, take it, to see what the differences were, but I didn't quite get that far. But yeah. uh, to get started on the <laughs> to get started on the play-by-play breakdown of the film here it opens with uh his uh christian bale's son william is like laying in bed and he is woken up by uh some noise in the living room it's middle of the night on their small ranch in arizona and he sees his dad christian bale who is named dan 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 evans (laughs) (laughs) and uh He's armed and looking outside because he was also awoken by some kind of noise out there. Ruckus. A ruckus. Oof. And they're all of a sudden their barn bursts into flames, and they hear men outside yelling, saying, "Next week you'll be your house." And Dan runs outside and gets clobbered from behind as soon as he leaves his front door, falling to the ground. And we see right off the bat <laughs> that he's got one GD leg. <laughs> That he lost in the Civil War, we come to learn. Got a nice little gimp. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a <laughs> bit of hitch of a hitch and a step. A little hitch and a step. A little hitch and a step there. And uh, so we can 
we've like seen that they're like behind on paying for something is kind of what you can infer from that but um not a lot of money not a lot of money uh dan christian bale and his it and his son uh take some shit out of the barn they let the horses go and yep. try to grab get, all the saddles grab the saddles yeah. and stuff but the barn is screwed burnt it's burnt to the ground burnt just like how country bear hall should have been <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh oh no oh no country, country bear, bear hall, hall. <laughs> christian bale's barn has been burned and oh no dan is trying to assure his sons and his wife that he'll take care of this but the first of many slights from his son William, he says, "You won't." You won't. God, his kid's such a dick. Yeah, the, whole, the movie, whole movie. The whole movie, he's either giving his own father just, mm, "I don't respect you or like you as a father," or he's looking at uh, Russell Crowe with like, wow, "Oh my God, you're so dreamy." I wish you were my dad. You have two legs. <laughs> yeah, you have literally. two legs, and my dad only has one. You're much more athletic. We come to. Yeah, we you, actually do you see can, a pretty you can walk with maneuver perfect balance. Up later on. You could play. Uh, you could have a catch with me. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Catch hasn't been invented for another 20 years or, or something. Catch, ca- the cavemen played Catch, I'm sure. With a mega baseball. In a glove. Well, they throw, rock, they throw ca- rocks at each other. I don't think the cavemen <laughs> played Catch. What do you think cavemen did for fun? They drew in the caves. They did do that. They drew pictures. And they hunted. Do you think like half the time they just kind of sat there and were just like, Ugh. I think you had to do a lot to stay alive. Yeah, true. Yeah. So it was probably constant survival. Yeah, a lot of loot and state of alertness. Fighting wow. dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Humans weren't alive at the same time as dinosaurs. Yeah. Let's get that right. I just wanted to make sure people didn't think I was an idiot. Yeah, for the listeners. Dinosaurs is another crazy thing, though. That they even were walking around. Yeah, and how come there haven't been any more? Like, what 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 brought them here to begin any with? Any more dinosaurs? Well, I know, but like like if that's what <laughs> was here before us, how did though they get here? And why has there not been any more? I know that they're like ex- I guess they're all the dinosaurs are extinct. Yeah, they've been gone a long time. Yeah, but ex- how did yeah, they get here? Yeah, what had to evolve to where they would get to that? Well, yeah. li- life. What uh, evolved so dinosaurs were what they are? Life. Uh, finds a way. Finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cliche. <laughs> Life uh, finds a way. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, after the Ev- <laughs> well, after the after the Evans family loses their barn to the uh, debt collectors. <laughs> it's like uh, telling a porn star hard work pays off. <laughs> 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 oh uh. Dan is conv- Dan's catching an ear beating from his wife Alice. Cause she's like, because she was like, "You didn't tell me we were behind on payments," and he's like, "I made payments, but we had to buy feed and medicine for Mark." And his son has tuberculosis. He's got the he's got COVID. Got TB, which was a big which was a big deal back in the eighteen hundreds. Oh yeah, they took it took you out, took you out. But um, it's it's, it's clear it's clear the it's ranch is struggling, ranch. and not a single person in the family Red respects Dan. Lungs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> talk about <laughs> talk about TB. And uh, the sickly child. The most important thing is rest. <laughs> <laughs> See when you get tuberculosis, what you're gonna want to do? Go somewhere dry <laughs> and rest. <laughs> Grab a nice dry climate, okay? Maybe a lawn chair or something. Go sit outside, drink yourself a nice glass of tea. And just and just just, just die and just die just peacefully. Die forever. That's all you can do with tuberculosis. There is no cure. You take the long nap. I can give you some cocaine, but that ain't gonna, you, that ain't gonna help your tuberculosis. You, I can give you cocaine. Cocaine's like the all, all that we have. And ketchup. You know, ketchup was was considered a medicine in the 1800s. Well, they were. They really? Used to think, hey, yeah. you got so tart. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't do anything because now we just put it on hot dogs and stuff. <laughs> They'd be like. Back then, they'd be like, "You got a cyst on your leg? Well, I think you need a nail in the ear." <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll <laughs> bleed out your bad blood, so yeah. the good yep, blood here, takes over. So the good blood takes over. <laughs> yeah, your bad blood. <laughs> you got a lot of bad blood. Holy shit! Holy cow! You're <laughs> full of it. <laughs> your blood's really dark. <laughs> you, all of your blood was bad blood. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we got to put a bunch of new good blood in you. Uh, we don't have that kind of technology. <laughs> I think that's that's just crazy. Though. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Medicine was it was also like the dentist would like rip out your teeth and <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or the or the hairdresser would rip out your teeth and Yeah. yeah. Medicine has come quite a ways. Yeah. We have can't deny that. No, you that's that's just for sure. Um so Dan need or uh, the sickly child says to Dan the morning after the barn burning, "Hey, are you gonna talk to Hollander and uh, get this sorted out?" And he's and Dan's like, "Yeah, sure will." And uh, it cuts to uh, Russell Crowe, who is the outlaw gang leader, Ben Wade. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. And he's drawing this uh, falcon perched. He's sitting horseback, drawing a falcon. Dressed in dark clothes. It's actually an auger buzzard. An auger buzzard. They're native in Africa. Not in What's Ari- it doing in Yuma, Arizona? I don't know. For the- no, we're not in Yuna, Yuma, Arizona. Yeah, That's no, where the train is going the to. The train is going to Yuma. You're right. At 310. The, sh- the movie's called 310 to Yuma. I resent my question. <laughs> Thank you. But this buzzard. Strike this, that from record. <laughs> this buzzard is scared off when. Auger buzzard. When uh, the second in command in the gang, Charlie Prince, played by Ben Foster. Charlie Fa- Prince. Charlie oh, Prince. yeah. Ben Foster. He's also a really cool cowboy name. Very cool cowboy name. So is, so is Ben Wade. Ben, ben also Wade. Very cool cowboy name. And he informs uh, ben, Wade. ben Wade on the contents of the coach that, they, that their gang is about to rob, including the weapons and what it's carrying. <laughs> And <laughs> Jesus Christ. I keep losing them I spot here. It's five forty nine. <laughs> I'll continue when you guys are done looking. Yep. I don't know what we're doing anymore. <laughs> oh, me either. I'm having a hard time. My God. I'm just giving you a hard time. That's what friends do. That's what friends do. <laughs> and we cut back to um, the uh, the Evans family trying to hunt down their cattle that escaped after the barn got burnt down because yeah. cattle's all they got. Yeah, and well, I think they're beef cows. <laughs> yeah, those are beef. Those are beef cattle. And do they not have milk in them? Beef cows? No, you just raise them for slaughter. Yeah, but yeah. they have milk in them. No, those are dairy cows. There's a difference between beef cows and there's they. I mean, really? I thought all just female cows had udders that you can just milk. Really? There's there's beef cows. There's dairy cows. I mean, can you use the dairy cows for beef? Um. They do, yeah. Like you can't any, use the beef 80, cows for Any milk. eighty twenty, like any eighty twenty hamburger that you get from the store is dairy cow. Hmm. But you can't use a beef. You can't use a beef cow for milk. It. What? You can't use a beef cow for milk. No, because it doesn't have udders. Are they all male, or they just all just don't have udders? They don't have udders. <laughs> I don't know if they're all male or female. I honestly don't know that answer that question. I don't either. <laughs> You learn something today, man. <laughs> I always do when I do these things. I know, it's pretty great. Remember that time we found out what a precinct was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a big moment. <laughs> uh, the, the Evans boys are trying to round up their GD cattle. And uh, they had to put one down because it was like wounded or some shit. <laughs> and, and that's uh, money right there. That means hurt. That means hurt. And William once again slights uh, his father, Christian Bale, Dan, by saying he'll like never, never walk in his shoes. Here's Which something. Funny because he really like only ha- he would only have one shoe. He has one shoe he's got and, one a, shoe. <coughs> and a peg. He's got one leg. He's all he's yeah. all left leg. <coughs> We're like I'm not, I'll never walk in your shoe. <laughs> oh, good one, son. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. Damn, I can sense the humor about his lack of leg. And cut, it cuts back, and we see the stagecoach is now being ambushed by the Ben Wade gang. Ben Wade. 
and it is a quite well executed and an intense <laughs> stagecoach robbery. The uh, yeah, it wasn't their first stagecoach. No, you can tell they've done it a few times. Yeah. Later on, we learn this is their twenty second robbery. Twenty two. Yeah. And uh, they slowly pick off members of the uh, defense unit on the stagecoach. And uh, meanwhile, a couple of the gang members do get wounded, including some guy getting shot in the ear. Remember that guy? Yep, he got it good. Guy's lobe taken off. Took his lobe clean off. Right off there. It's a lobe shot. A lobe shot. Lobe shot. And none other than Peter Fonda is on this stagecoach. What else is Peter Fonda in? I don't really recognize him. Uh, Easy Rider. It's an old flick. It's an old biker Motorcycle. movie. They're all in motorcycles. Okay. But um, if you saw like a picture of the movie, people, you'd probably know what it is. Okay. But uh, he notices that one of the gang members has dynamite like on his, like a dynamite pouch like on attached like to his satchel. saddle. Yeah. And he just fucking <laughs> blows up a horse. <laughs> You know that was a real horse. It was a real horse. That they exploded. Yep. Really? Yeah. They killed the, the guy. Was real too. Yeah. It was just a, it was a stunt guy that told him, "Hey man, just go out there. Hey man, and just go ahead. Ride and the horse, but they really blew up a horse. They really did blow up a horse, though. I don't believe you for a second. They did. Peter wouldn't let them do that shit. They did. Remember, remember in Friday the Thirteenth when they killed a the snake? Yeah. Well, that was like in they the blew up 80s. a they blew up a real horse in this movie. I don't, they use, they use <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. Oh. They use propane. I'm pretty gullible, but I don't. <laughs> no, nah, they didn't do that. That'd be terrible. That'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, you can't, really you can't just blow up a horse for a for a for a movie. Go, ah, the camera wasn't rolling. We got get another one. <laughs> get another horse. Get another horse. Purebred. <laughs> Purebred. <laughs> Uh, this me- is the last one. If we kill this one, it'll, it'll go into we, extinction. We, well, got, we need this shot. We got to get yeah. this shot right this time. <laughs> We're down a stunt man, too. <laughs> While his members of his gang are in great peril, Russell Crowe is just like watching from the hill. <laughs> ben Wade. Ben, ben Wade. Ben and he notices that some of his guys are getting hurt, and it's maybe not going as smoothly as it could be. And he spots none other than the Evans cattle on the side of the cliff. <laughs> Runs over, blasting his pistol to get him to run out into the road. The stagecoach just completely eats it, crashes. The guards are tossed all over the place. and The wagon completely flipped up on its stop. Yeah, it's fudged. You're going to need to contact your insurance agency on that one. Immediately. Yeah. Allstate, we need you today. Uh, Charlie Prince rides up and picks off the remaining guards. Charlie Prince. Um, Charlie Wade. Charlie, and, <laughs> Charlie and Wade. Ben and Ben Prince. Charlie Wade. He That's blasts. It is a good name. Wade's ben a Charlie Wade strong Prince. Name. Wade's a pretty powerful last name. Yeah. You know, uh, the guy and Kim Possible, the kid, the guy in the chair. The kid, guy in the chair. He, she, beep, she's beep, in beep. her little. What's the sitch? <laughs> His name was Wade. He's the man in the chair. He was the man in the chair. Smart, good. Wade is kind of a cool name. Yeah. It's unique. You don't hear you don't meet too many Wades out there. Shout out to the Wades. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the guy's character's name is Charlie Prince, and he shoots Peter Fonda in the gut as they're like talking shit to each other. Because you got to talk talk some shit if you're a bad guy. Oh well, yeah. And Russell Crowe rides it's up. Like a game of football. It is like a game of football out there. Bad guy. Gotta talk shit all the time. Yeah. Just never turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Russell Crowe, who I just said I was trying to say the name of the Ben characters. Wade. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. <laughs> His name is Ben Wade. Ben Wade. I assume Ben is short for Benjamin. Potentially. Yep. But they don't say that. Could it could Benton. just be Ben. Benton. 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 Not a tough name. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he shortened it. Be- Bent. Benson Benifer? Wade. Benifer. Ben. Yeah. Benathan. Benathan. Oh, Isn't Benifer what uh, 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 Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are? Benifer. Benifer. They're back together. Good for them. Are they really? Yeah. I Maybe. think celebrity relationships are a bunch of bullshit. Absolutely, absolutely. You think right. the Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian thing <laughs> is is real? <laughs> you know, she's trashy. She yeah. just got Kim? divorced from her they all kid's are trashy. dad, and she's like 
messing around with Pete Davidson all publicly. Like that's so trashy. Like yeah, that's the father of your children. Her, her whole life is. You're totally public. dragging him through the mud right in front of him. Yeah, Kanye West had a, he like had a song with uh, I think it was Two Chains maybe come out recently. The game. The game. Yeah, the game. The that's game. right. Yeah. And he said something about kicking Pete Davidson's ass in the song. I heard he was spreading a rumor about Pete that, that he's hit. actually gay and he has AIDS. AIDS. That's believable. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> what? Well, I, I don't know how Kanye would know that. Don to two. Is, Is that it? true? Yeah, February February twenty second, twenty twenty two. It's two 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 twenty two twenty two. Ooh. Wow. Produced by Future. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That'd be pretty nice. Who's come? Yeah, Kanye needs to find a new woman. Kanye yeah, he does. Kanye wants. I thought he already had a new woman. Oh, he's dating uh, the girl Julia from. Fox. Is that her name from so, yeah. from Uncut Gems? Yeah, Julia Fox. Yeah, because she was in that video when it's when it's him and she's sitting on his lap, and it's uh, like Antonio Brown and fucking Floyd Mayweather, and they're all sitting. You guys saw this, right? <laughs> they're, they're all sitting at a at a couch, just like nodding their heads. I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> you seen the video? This is the video right here. Yeah. Antonio Brown is just a mess, there dude. Talking. It, the caption on Twitter that I saw was, not a single thought is happening in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they're fucking right. God, they're all just posers, man. They're all fucking dumb. It was, it's they're it's just weird. It's a weird video. Yeah, that was like, like a fever dream. It looked like they were pretending to be like having a good time. That was yeah, like a, that was like a fever dream time. video. <laughs> Back to the film. Yeah, anyway. Uh, la, 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 la. Uh, so the stagecoach, they set up charges to blow it up and claim their loot. We get a cool shot of Ben Wade and like looking away as the cool guys don't look at explosions happen behind him there. And they retrieve a chest full of cash. Cash. But one of the guards of the stagecoach was playing possum, puts one of Wade's goons in a in a headlock with a gun to his dome, and he's like, "Put your guns down or whatever." And he notices that Ben Wade's like gonna blast him, and he quick draws, shoots his own guy in the throat, and then shoots the guard. And as the guy's like, uh, Ben walks up and he's like, "You got lazy, and you were getting dangerous." And we just see how ruthless Ben Wade is in this moment. Mm -hmm. Can't get lazy. He's a savage. Can't get lazy. Not in the Wild West. Can't get lazy. Can't get he's lazy. He's a savage. But meanwhile, he's so fast. He's so fast. He's so fast. He is. He is. Meanwhile, the Evans boys are actually watching on Dan and William and Mark. And William goes, he's, he's fast. fast. Yeah. He's fast. And this is when he starts his crush on Ben Wade. And I think it's because at the very beginning of the movie, when he like wakes up in the middle of the night and he holds, he holds like a match up and we see he's got like one of those Western novel books. Yep. And throughout the movie, he goes on to like look up to Ben Wade and it's it just kind of a little foreshadowing that he think, appreciates yeah. the gunfighter. The gunslinger. Gunslinger. The thinks, thinks they're cool. Yeah, the gunslinger's kind of a kid at the time. With two yeah. legs. Yeah. 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 two legs. Could he potentially be Billy the Kid? What? That'd be pretty cool. It depends when this takes place. Three years after the Civil War approximately. Because mm. that's when Ben said he or that's when Dan said he lost his leg. No what year is it? Like 18, that was 1890 ish? Random thought because his name is William. And yeah. Calls, call William Billy. That would be. I think Billy was he's before a that time. Fan of the gunslinging right now and watch Ben Wade kill his dad. I think that's a, fu that's a fun fan so theory. I like maybe that. Now he's going to go kill a bunch of people and be a bad cowboy and be Billy Kid. I don't know. I'd like to see where that story goes. That'd, that'd be kind of dope. <laughs> But the gang spots the Evans boys, and 
<laughs> I think your ideas suck too. <laughs> Cole's got some okay ones, but Ben, <laughs> Ben and Charlie, Ben and Charlie ride up to the Evans boys because they got spotted doing their stagecoach robbery, and Dan expresses that hey, those are my cattle down there. Moo, moo, and the gang members are like, hey, that's that's fucking. Ben Wade, you're ben, ben Wade you're talking to there. <laughs> it's Ben Wade you're talking to there, mister. The Ben Wade. He's like, well, I just want my cattle back. No. But the Evans boys, no. uh, they kind of get humiliated because they got their horses confiscated. <laughs> but they the they got to walk. Like, like a, you got to walk to town now. Like a pilgrim or something. Yeah. Did the pilgrims ride horses? No. no. Uh, but they did. I probably. The, in the probably they did. That was like the 1500s, I think. They I did. feel like people, people have been riding horses since the dawn. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, nay. 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 <laughs> Did the, has anybody ever asked if the horse wants to be ridden? Uh, <laughs> probably not. No. It's crazy that... I mean, why the, the fuck should I care? It's for the longest horse. time, they're like a, they're like a tool. <laughs> like yeah, a, it, it's yeah. dumb that they got so domesticated that they let us ride them. It's really on the, the, that species, not on us. That's true. Maybe but, they should bite back a little more. Yeah. I mean, they could probably kick our asses. Some of them. Look them. Dude, horses are huge, man. They, if, They're what, pretty what, intimidating. What in the They're chest. so, like, muscular. Yeah. Dude, horses, if you get kicked in the chest by a horse and you'll, he gets you in you'll the die. Spot, you're going to die. No, you're dead for sure. Yeah. You get kicked in the head and fucking explode your skull, probably. probably. Yeah. Then you're, 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 your head is just a part of his hoof forever. It's <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. fucking brain matter stuck to his foot and it just runs away. I know you're supposed to like when you're walking behind a horse, you're supposed to keep your hand on its like butt as you're walking around it, so you so you don't like scare him. Like he knows that you're there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he can't see you. They have they can my only see knowledge. like there. <laughs> yeah, they're like <laughs> fucking fish. They are like fish. What the? They fuck? can see like there, and that's about yeah. it. They can't uh, see anywhere else. I need to see a diagram on the field of view of of a horse. Yeah, yeah. let's see what they see. See what they see. Do you see what I see? Speaking of horses, the gang rides into town to celebrate yeah. their uh, successful stagecoach robbery, and the Evans boys go down and investigate the stagecoach robbery scene. Uh, meanwhile, in town, uh, Charlie Prince throws on a quick disguise and goes into the police station. They can't. S- That's what we're looking at. They can't see. Throw up a di- of- I'm gonna throw up a diagram of the. The horse vision there. It looks like horse vision here. Um, they can see you like to the side. Wow, that's kind of insane, actually. I didn't realize that they were. They have like pretty much zero peripheral vision. They have all peripheral vision. Yeah, it's it's, it's that's the yeah. Wait, oh. it, wait, is white what they can see? No, I, I thought, thought that's this, what it is. This orange is what, what? they can. Well, see. this is left eye only and right eye only. Oh, okay, so they can see all the way back here. But yeah, they can't see the because there's like the orange spot behind. Them. Okay. Holy cow! Wow, they can see like all the way know. fucking back here. Then that's pretty crazy. Damn. They have a big body too. Here we go. Here's from that view. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Horses can see wicked good, apparently, except directly in front of them. And they they just get spooked pretty easy, I think, too. For sure. You guys hear about that guy that? Uh, fucked that horse and died yeah what was his name mr hands or something weird like yeah, that yeah something like that but yeah he got fucked by the horse or it was a mr hands's horse or something like that one of the two yeah that up bj me <laughs> do you see it <laughs> was it like was it like part of a club or something, know, or he, he took he took a, a horse cock, which are which are notoriously large penises. Yeah, uh, yeah. And he took it up his butt. Good and guy. The horse uh, climaxed in his butt. <laughs> and then and, what happened? And the guy died. Good lord. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you would do that willingly. Yeah. Take a horse cock up your butt. Some people very strange and very disturbed in the in the brain. Hmm. But it made him famous. Cuz I'm telling you his sto- I'm telling you his But story. at what cost? <laughs> uh, but you died and you know, the only thing you're known for is getting fucked to death by a horse. Yeah, but it's a funny story. 
Hmm. I don't want my life to be a funny story. But you're remembered. You know, they say your spirit is always around as long as people remember you. Maybe it's better to this be guy forgotten. fucked a horse, and now he'll be remembered forever. <coughs> He did. He did etch his name in stone, really. And that horse etched his penis in his rectum, and there's no coming back from that. No, a lot of ripping and tearing, I suspect. A lot of wild women. A lot of wild women. (laughs) The ripping and the tearing. The The ripping and the tearing. I clicked on a fucking link to the Mr. Hands video. Oh, it's on Brazzers. It's on Brazzers. There's a video. Of it? Start your seven day free trial right now. We got we got to watch the video. <laughs> your recommended video. Your recommended searches are going to be a little thrown off by that yeah. one. Might be a little different for a few days. <laughs> <laughs> it'll get, it'll get right again. Correct well, I'll correct that. I'll you correct, correct that. that and watch watch Tamer videos. Yeah, I need to just go on there and watch some, you know, like uh, billiards videos or like darts. <laughs> <laughs> some skee ball vids. Dart, <laughs> darts can be pretty intense. I, Dude, I suggest I'm good at the darts. darts. We played darts. I'm, I'm. You beat me. I'm good at darts. You beat me at darts. Oh did yeah. You? I'm good at. Or did darts. I beat you? I can't remember. I was winning the whole time, and then you beat me at the very end. Kings say kings. <laughs> I I could beat you at darts though. Okay, we'll have to see. I guess because you didn't last time. That's because I I when it, as as because what's the game called? Cricket? No, so, we just played regular darts. Oh, well, the is that that's regular darts? Five hundred one. The points. Yeah. The points just decrease as you as you hit them. Yeah, and you go down to zero. Yeah. First one to zero wins. Oh. Yeah, that's normal darts. Well, I, I'm good at that until just like when I'm in like the single digits and then. Oh, then you, you bust. <laughs> you bust. <laughs> yeah. You got to get that pinpoint accuracy. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to our new podcast, uh, Dart Talk. <laughs> new episodes every Thursday. Thursday yeah. Dart League. <laughs> Thursday Dart League. Love darts, darts yeah, darts is a lot of fun. That's probably one of my favorite bar games. Yeah, for sure. I suck at pool, so. I'm yeah. great. I've been told I'm really great at pool when I'm when I'm blackout drunk. <laughs> so you can focus. <laughs> I've been told that I'm just really good. Really? Interesting. Yeah. I haven't been blackout drunk in a while, though. I really haven't been playing much. So I haven't been playing very well. There's only, <laughs> <good pool. laughs> only one way to test. Cool. There's only one way to test. <laughs> Get you blackout drunk in a billiard hall. And I'll run the table. <laughs> and then you... I won't miss. I won't miss. I don't miss. We're talking about a movie? Yeah. <laughs> um, so the gang... Uh, makes her way to town and Charlie Prince throws on a little disguise to make himself look like a little dopey dude. He grabs a jacket from a sleeping man and little bitch, little bitch puts his bitch. puts his hat on differently. He goes up to the uh, little sheriff's office there and they're waiting for the coach to arrive and uh, they're getting worried because they're like, oh, the Pinkertons are escorting, escorting this and they're not behind. And uh, Charlie Prince comes in. And he's like, "Stagecoach got ambushed outside of town." And they're like, "Oh yeah. fuck!" And they all run outside to get on their horses and one go thing, investigate the one crash. Thing that I noticed Robbery. is that um, that Pinkerton guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, Miles back. God damn it! Uh, Butterfield. Butter, Butterfield. Butterfield. Yes. Butterfield. He's like, <laughs> someone goes, "It might be Ben Wade," and he's like, "How do you know?" He's like, "Well, it's been him the last, the last 21, twenty-one times." times. Yeah. <laughs> That's like. You've let your stagecoach get robbed 21 times. Yeah, that's over 20 times. Jeepers creepers, man. Yeah. At yeah. some point, you need a new business fool, strategy. Fool me once, shame yeah. on Fool me 20 shame on me. other times. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I wonder if it was a situation where uh, there was a lot of robberies happening, and then they hired the Pinkertons to escort them. That's another thing I thought of. Like, they're supposed to be, like, the best of the best. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, the gang then comes out of hiding. They like do nod, like looks at each other. The the police right off, or the sheriff or marshal, and uh, the gang like comes out of the shadows, and they go to the saloon, throw out the regulars, you know, and uh, orders a round of whiskey. Uh, they divvy out the cash from their uh, earnings from that day. But before they divvy out the money, they toast to the four that they lost that day. And uh, Ben describes how stupid uh, the one guy that he shot in the throat was, and how he deserved to die. And everyone's like, "Yeah, to die. That's true. Just needs killing. 
Yeah. Uh, they distribute their winnings. <laughs> winnings. Wait, 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 wait. Winnings. From the stagecoach. Uh, then the gang, it, like, disperses. So Ben Wade can flirt with the uh, bartender lady that he knew from the past. Yeah, interesting. Oh, yeah. They never mentioned her again. In the yeah. Entire yeah. He fucked her and then yeah, they he fucked and her and left. Out. He kept calling her skinny. <laughs> you look kind of skinny. I feel skinny. I don't mind skinny girl. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's old. like, if you get green eyes, that makes up for it. And then she finally turns around and she didn't. He's like, well, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. He nailed and bailed. So and Then he bailed. Then he banged her upstairs. Tooted and booted. Yeah. He hit it and quit it. Acted like he knew her, but didn't know what color eyes she had. Yeah. He, he, did, he did know her, for sure. It was weird. It was a, it was a weird yeah. issue. I don't really know what the relationship between those two characters was. Other than... Yeah. Fuck buddies. <laughs> Fuck FBs. And, uh... It, yeah. it fucking Huck. Fucking Huck. <laughs> there you uh, go. That's a good one. Uh, come and go. Uh, come and go. Come and go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> intercourse and horse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get that confused with inner horse with a course. <laughs> no. Inner horse. Inter- <laughs> Whoa. Inner course with a horse. You'll yeah. end up like... You'll end up dead. dead. <laughs> You'll end up... Hands yeah. Tiny hands are... Big hands. Big, Mr. Big hands. gaming <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Mr. Uh, hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, if you start this movie at one nineteen, the movie will end at three ten. Oh, that's pretty cool. As the train arrives, <laughs> as the train pulls into the station. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> did you look up the Did you look up the run? Did you look up the run time? <laughs> if you decide to watch this movie, you need to start it at one nineteen. You don't. Pa- you can't pause it. Can't pause it. Let it go. And then it went in at three ten. And then a spirit will arrive. <laughs> <laughs> it opens the door to another realm. Have you guys seen like those Facebook posts that say if you start so and so movie at X time yeah. on New Year's, on Eve, New Year's Eve, Eve, then at, at mid house. then at midnight Sauron will say, and now we fight or some fucking. <laughs> at, at midnight, Tony Stark will say that he's Iron Man. Yeah. What a way to bring in the new year, you fucking nerd. Yeah, a bunch of fucking nerds. Go drink a beer there. like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, after uh, Ben Wade starts to lay his rapey moves down on the bartender, it flashes back over to the uh, Evans family dragging Peter Fonda out of the desert and uh, back to town on the, some boards. <laughs> cool to get something out of his system there. <laughs> Piss me off. Camera. Sorry, Gee Wells. Stop. You're pissing me off. They come across their horses, thankfully. Otherwise, Peter Fonda probably would have died. Uh, the police um, roll up on the scene at this time as well. Peter Fonda, he got shot, as we mentioned. He's yeah. leaking. He's uh, leaking bad. There was, a, there was a moment where he said, uh, ain't the first time I got shot. Uh, and uh, coincidentally, Peter Fonda actually did get shot when he was 10. Oh, that's pretty really? Cool. With a gun. How did he get shot? Did he shoot himself on accident or something? Playing with it? No, I don't know what happened, but he got shot when he was 10. Okay. So kind of a real life uh, tie back there. That reminds me of uh, in the movie Avatar, Sigourney Weaver's character wears like a Harvard hoodie when she's like an Avatar person and Sigourney Weaver went to Harvard in real life. Yeah. I've never seen that movie. Huh. Never once. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. At this point, you should wait until the next yeah. Avatar to come out to watch the first Avatar yeah. right before it comes yeah. out. The game looks pretty dope. The game. They're coming out with an Avatar open world game. The game, the game, looks pretty sweet. the game. I think I vaguely remember hearing of that. I think they kind of missed their window on that. They missed their window. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm like, that's kind of like out of... Yeah. I think they're just trying to build the franchise up a little bit. But <sighs> Yeah, it's been so long since... um. It was supposed the to Avatar come out came out in 2014. The second one was. Oh really? That was eight years ago now. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. It must. I hope it's been like improved. Well, they. This was supposed to well, come out back then. And the graphics are even good, close to what. Because Peter be. Jackson always waits for like new technology and stuff. Was he? Or, Steven Spielberg. Steven. 
No, it's uh, not Peter Jackson. No, it's the ti- Titanic. Guy. James Cameron. <laughs> James Cameron <first. laughs> none of none of us knew who the fuck he was. I couldn't think of his name. But he's actually filming two, three, and Avatar two, three, and four all at the same time. So that they can, oh, he man. can release them when he wants. Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. That's kind of smart. I guess. Yeah, a lot of a lot of franchises have done similar. Yeah, but I don't think. I, don't, I feel like he's overestimating how much people care about Avatar anymore. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. They're yeah. making a big deal out of it. And I'm like, that movie was like, okay. They're going to have to do like a really big marketing campaign for that to get it, the hype behind yeah. it. Yeah. Especially yeah. now yeah, with like Marvel the COVID now. movie situation. Yeah. Because I'm sure it's going to cost an ass load of money. Well, and like, what was the big hype around Avatar? It was just because it was, it state cost of the so art. much money? State yeah, it was just like state of the art and... Well, now every movie does that. Yeah. So, right. like, that's, yeah. that's what I mean. It's not going to, like, it won't it's make like, It's just going to be money. another Avatar story, and if you don't care about the story, then... And I don't think Avatar is really relevant at all. At all and the anymore. story the story really wasn't even that great. The main material that they're on the planet for, they called unobtainium. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't super... Everybody, like, raves about that movie, and I'm like, it's all right. Yeah. It was a good movie. I never kind, of, kind, of a weak, it. kind of a I, weak I story. Never, Biggest movie of all time, and I've never. We need to have seen. like a little mini sode where Cole watches that and just gives us thoughts on it. Just bash it, bash it the whole time. Bash it. <laughs> it's a good movie. I just like I agree with you. I think he's. I think. I think. I feel like it's being overhyped. Not even overhyped, but they just think that there's going to be a bigger response than there will be. Yeah, <laughs> I think so too. People aren't going to care really. As much. No, it's been too long. Yeah, it's been over because the first movie came out in oh, like nine. What? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Wow. Well, after the um, after the authorities arrive on uh, the Evans boys and the wounded Peter Fonda, if uh, we shoot back over to the saloon room where it sounded like uh, Ben Wade was trying to convince the bartender to like come with him on the run to Mexico or something, because he's like, "There's a town where they'd like to see a white girl like you sing or some shit like that." Yep. And uh, we see the cops he's are kind of running. He is he is very smooth. He's doing his whisper, doing his whisper very, talking. Yeah, charismatic. And, All uh, great villains are very charismatic. They are. He's got that smooth. Depth they thing. are. Yeah. You kind of want to fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Same with like cult leaders. Yeah, you kind of want to fuck them. You kind of want to fuck them. You kind of want to fuck them. Yeah, like Tom Cruise and the Scientology. Scientology. You kind of want to fuck them. Michael Pena. <laughs> and my, Pena. Michael Pena is one, one of his guys. <laughs> one of my guys. You know, the, the wife from uh, uh, King, and Qu- King of Queens, Kevin James. Leah. Yeah. yeah. She used to be a Scientologist. Yeah, she's out of it now. She, though, gave right? it, she gave it up. She gave it up. What's so, like, that's a conversation for a different time. We don't need to talk well, it's, about it's about, like, yeah, something about aliens that, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's insane. It's a conversation for a different pod. Yep. It's like one of those things where they think it's like you're like so exclusive and you're like better than the regular people. And there's like a set of yeah, there's like a set of it's just like any other religion, I guess. You are. You think you are a set of beliefs they follow. A white person. Boo. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I guess I didn't mean boo white people. Boo. I don't mean. I mean. I didn't mean to boo white people. I don't think anyone. I don't think. I don't think anyone will get on here for that. That wasn't being racist. White people suck. Well, the gang. The gang, the gang, gang, the gang, the gang, the gang, gang, gang. not the gang, the uh, police that find uh, the wounded Peter Fonda and uh, the Evans, uh, Christian Bale, Dan goes into town with them to take um, them to the doctor to get uh, Fonda checked out because he's got a gaping hole in his gut from when he got, (laughs) from when he got blasted earlier. And we thought it was funny that in movies, whenever like a bullet or something is getting surgically removed from someone, it's always got to go in the tray. (laughs) It's got to make a ding. Noise when it hits. Yeah, you got to put it somewhere. <laughs> so they get the bullet out of Peter Fonda, and he's like, "What kind of doctor are you?" Because he sees all these like animal <laughs> diagrams on the Did wall. Did we mention the doctor's? Played no, by we didn't. Alan Tudyk. Yeah, the There's doctor. Alan Tudyk. Alan Steve Tudyk. Steve Park. He also plays a uh, uh, K2SO in Star Wars Rogue One. And yep, and the bad guy in uh, Frozen, right? 
He's in. He's in Frozen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yep. he plays so. a couple different voices in Frozen, actually. Yeah, what yeah. a guy. He also plays the main robot in I Robot. Yeah, Alan Tudyk's a super Really, talent. I didn't know he did the main yeah. robot. He robot. does a lot of voice. He does a lot of voice work. He yeah. does the motion capture a lot too. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, he's he's an interesting guy. He's, he's a cool. A he's, a, he's a cool guy. <laughs> well, Doc <laughs> is Doc is on the team. Either. This should. They this should. Do that one. Dodgeball. 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 We should play dodgeball. Uh, meanwhile, in town, uh, Dan is trying to barter this brooch, <laughs> like for more time on his land with the guy that he l- lended money to. He's got no money. Dude's He's broke as a joke. flat broke. <laughs> and his kid hates him. It's kid pathetic. hates him. One his other foot. kid's sick. Yeah, got one foot. Only got one Wife foot. doesn't respect him, and uh, neither does the guy that lent him money and is starting threatening to kick him off the land because he's like. The land's worth more with you off of it because the railroad and the fucking I'm just chasing the bag. And then the doofy bodyguard guy like shoves Dan to the ground again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy's a goober. Yeah. And he was uh, in wild dogs. That guy. He was. He was also in Walking Tall. Was he? Yep. He's always <laughs> just a big goober. Yeah, he's a big. Goober. That's big what I remember him from the trippers. most is Walking Tall. Walking Tall. Yeah. But of course, Dan is. He's at the end of his rope. He runs b- runs to his horse, gets his rifle, follows the uh, land or the money borrower guy into the saloon where Ben Wade is also with his lady. And uh, he runs in there with a gun, only to be met with Ben Wade leaving his room. And they kind of have a little scene at the bar where they're chatting shit with each other. And uh, Dan asks for money back for the cattle that he lost and for his time and his son's time and... Uh, ben like coughs up the money as he's kind of laughing <coughs> like hey, whatever here's some fucking money I don't okay, care I'm, I'm loaded and he gets ambushed by the police Ben Wade that is and he is arrested for his many robberies 22 chained up 22, 22 robberies yep and as he's getting like his guns removed he said careful that gun's cursed because there's curse like a little it. legend behind his gun it's called the hand of god because there's a little dude on a cross on it and uh uh jesus is the guy on the cross jesus he, you know you know jesus christ uh, considered to be the son of god oh okay where where you, where'd you like how do you know that um when i was <laughs> when i was young i used I, to go to I, church how do you know that and, and they told you that the the guy did yeah the who's the guy who's the guy the priest guy what, how did he he know? wore he wore these robes and he had this scarf and so he, i should trust him because of his outfit and he gave me a cracker sounds kind of culty what's the purpose of the no, cracker no no it's not culty sometimes we drink wine he, as a child I mean, everybody drink out of the same wine glass yeah as sounds kind of culty well there's only one and well sometimes we stand up and sing and then we'll we'll kneel. Were these were these were like the songs originally written in a different language from like forever ago? I that sounds like it could be true. Sounds kind of cool. So you just listen <laughs> yeah. to this guy kind of tell you what to do. Like where does he get this information from? Well, like what this, does he tell you? There's this book uh, that was written uh, 2022 years Did ago. Did Jesus write the book? Ah. I don't think he was much of an. He was more of a carpenter than a, than an author. Oh, so he didn't. He actually didn't have uh, any role in what went into the book at all. Well, he 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 he's, he, he cured blindness for a guy once. How? That's true. Like that's proven. That was in the book. Did he do like? Oh, did he have like cataracts or how did he get rid of them? Well, he especially t- no. He just kind of touched his forehead like this. Wait. So he said you you quit not seeing and then he could see, and then the the sun wow. was kind of bright. But sunglasses were invented. When did that part take place? Wait, sunglasses weren't invented when he cured his blindness? No. no. Not, so not when, in the year 35, no. In the year 35, he cured... Yeah, when Jesus was... There was virtually no medicine. No. So he just did the hand well, thing, Jesus huh? had Jesus his did hand. hand. <laughs> yeah. So I did. The hand thing. Apparently that worked. So. And then he Do you know who wrote, who wrote this again? Uh, no one knows who wrote it. What was, uh, this, what was the thing called? The Bible. The Bible. Bible. It's the most... Uh, it's it's the best selling book that's ever been. <coughs> is that whenever I st- whenever I stay in a hotel and I open like the nightstand? Is that what's in there? There's a book in there that says Bible on it. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Yeah, and you always check for money just in case someone left money in there. Some people do. Some people do. I you know what? I every time I go to a place now I look 
because you told me that one. Yeah, time. yeah. Really? You're gonna find a dollar in there or something. Every time I go to a hotel, I look in the Bible and see. Because some people will, will will hide their money, their like loose <laughs> cash, in the Bible so the maids don't take it. Hmm. It's true. Hmm. And then they forget when they leave, so that's why they're in there. Huh? I thought that people would have put money in the Bible as like, a, if you need it, take it. Well, like a pay it forward type of thing. May- yeah. Maybe, but. Probably not. That's not where the legend comes from. But, anyways, you know, Catholic priests touch little boys, right? <laughs> <laughs> proven. Uh, yeah. proven. Proven. It is proven. It's kind they of just move. They just kind of move them around to somewhere else if they do that. Yeah. That's what Jesus would have wanted. I don't know. Speaking of getting touched, uh, Ben Wade is getting touched and handcuffs placed on him by the uh, Pinkertons and the police of the town. And they're like, we're going to take you to Yuma. We're going to be in pr- Arizona. Yuma's you're going to be Arizona. made an example out of your crimes, and you're going to be hung. We're going to hang you in the morning. But we need more men to get you there. I have a question. Uh, when it comes between hung and hanged. Past tense of hung is hanged. Or no, past tense is hung. Past tense of hang is hu- is hung? Yes. Then why? Then white. why do people say hang? I'm being. I'm going. I'm going to be hanged. He was hanged. That only refers to when you're being hanged. But it was he was hanged. It's is like that, the is act, that a proper it's sentence? It's like the act. I think. Otherwise, you say hung. Otherwise, you say hung. Like if, if like, I if I I'm gonna say like I hung my shirt up. You would say hung. You would say hung. But if you're saying he's being hanged if you're, at if you're third, being hanged. like two o'clock. Yeah. You wouldn't say he's being hung at two o'clock. Okay. I'd say he's being hanged. Okay. Because it's like he's the being, act yeah. of like hanging someone. Right. That's, that uh, makes it's sense. Like a, it's, like a, it's a punishment. It's a consequence. That makes sense. <clears throat> Consequences will be had, Mr. Wade. Yeah. Uh, men, are, men are being recruited to take uh, Wade to Yuma. Uh, the big doofy uh, guy, Tucker, is recruited <laughs> right away. That's a good note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Grow up. And uh, our good friend, Dan Evans, pipes up and says, hey, I was the best shot in my division in the war. Civil War, that is. That's and so he barters for $200 to help escort Wade to the train station. 310 to, Yuma. 310 to Yuma. The Arizona. the gang of cops escort Wade to their stagecoach to leave town. But meanwhile, Charlie Prince rides by and says, this town's going to burn. And he just blasts a random cop and a random pedestrian and rides off and everyone shoots at him and they go stormtrooper mode and he escapes. And the doc runs up behind a guy and puts his hand behind his head and kind of comforts him and that's pretty much the only everything's, doctoring everything's gonna be okay everything's gonna be okay. everything's gonna be fine that was the extent of doctoral yeah. training at this time i don't have any more cocaine you're going to die <laughs> you're going to die i'm out of coke i'm out and the most i use the rest of the ketchup on my hamburger that i that from those beef cows <laughs> you know they don't have udders right <laughs> oh, and, and, and he's dead. <laughs> oh, he died a long time ago. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Breaking news. Okay. Get a good shot of that. Good call. Good call. <laughs> the coach <laughs> lo- loaded up with this notorious outlaw arrives at the tiny ranch on the edge of town and uh, it gets stuck somehow so they got they get it unstuck and as it's getting unstuck they do a little hat switch thing and the uh the stagecoach becomes a decoy that ben foster or charlie prince is like watching over to follow to rescue his leader but he falls for the old switcheroo and rides off following the stagecoach meanwhile uh that that night time they're having dinner at the Evans Ranch, and it's kind of awkward because there's a murderous fugitive handcuffed at the table along with armed guards. 
little tension in the room. A little bit of tension in the room. <laughs> and so is the guy that dinner, and yeah. the guy that burned down the barn is there again, yeah. Tucker. Big yeah. doofy, yeah, my doofy dog, asshole. My dog's name is Tucker. Where Cole's dog's name is Tucker. Liar. I forgot. I forgot to mention the wounded Peter Fonda is joining the group as well. Butterfield's there also. And and as the doc, he just got told he was coming. He didn't even. You didn't want to go. He didn't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm, not, I'm, not. I'm not even here. <laughs> uh, yep. Ben is eating like a maniac, and uh, and the little boy is like, we normally say we grace. <laughs> or does the wife say that? And then the boy's the like, boy says that. the boy's like, do we say grace for murderers too? Yeah. <laughs> is it is it the the TB kid? I think the T the Teebs kid, yeah. Yeah, the TB speaking kid. Of, speaking, of, grace. speaking of TB, uh, is he retired or what? We don't know at this point. At this point, we do not know yeah. because there's been multiple different reports yeah. on if Tom Brady is in fact going to be retired or if he is going to be back in the I've, league next year. I, I bet. Sure. I bet he plays one more year. One more year. <laughs> yeah, I, year I, I kind of think he is going to do one more year now that he got like rescinded. That's kind of bullshit. I. Because there's like a lot of reports that he was. By the time this episode comes out, it'll be yeah, determined. Well, but. It's It's just kind of BS. A lot of people have been like congratulating him on his career, and it's like, okay, that's like respect. You know, a lot of those people yeah. are like going out of their way to show you, hey, congratulations. And now you're just gonna pull a, oh, just kidding, I didn't actually mean it. Well, like, well, kind of or was there a, was there a part he, that he, he never he, said himself? That could be. Okay. That could be. Yeah. If that's the case, and if he comes out and says that was a false report, yeah. like I be. never actually made a decision, then I'll be okay with that personally. Yeah. yeah. But, Otherwise, I think it's kind of shit. I feel like he could. He should play until the wheels fall off. Sure or does he stop when he's on top? Still, I say he goes. I think. I think he should retire this year. I say. Yeah, he should just retire. Much, I, I think he should too. It's too tough. The. I mean, it's just gonna get harder. Because he could be year. like an. He could do anything for work with the NFL. Yeah, I mean, he had a good year this year. I mean, he was. He yeah. Did, yeah. He it's should. Him, I guess. He should join. He should do one more year. He joins the Lions. Ooh. And he takes him to a Super Bowl. That would be oh awesome gosh. if he joined the Lions. <laughs> and then he retires. Back to the uh, awkward fugitive dinner. Uh, Dan gets cucked by his wife once again when <laughs> when Ben's having a hard time eating like the steak. He's just like stabbing it and like gnawing on it. And she's like, <laughs> Alice is like, Dan, go on. And he like walks <laughs> over and like cuts up the meat. Him, for sure. Ben, and he's like, "Yeah, get, cut that fat off right there. I don't like that fat." And uh, the gristle, I don't, I don't like the gristle either. She's like, "I'm gonna slug you." He would have wanted to slug him. It would have been really hard not to punch that guy in the face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as he's cutting, when he like, isn't as he's like standing there as he's cutting the food. That's when <laughs> Ben Wade is like. Hey, how'd you, mind if I ask how you got that hitch in your step? Yeah, mind if I ask how you got that hitch in your step, <laughs> Which is an incredible way to ask, hey, how, how'd you lose your foot? <laughs> the whole time we were watching this, we were like making fun of the fact that he was missing a fucking foot. Like, giving him I mean, shit. There's some benefits, though, as we learn. There are. But there's probably more disadvantages Yeah. by having one less foot. Yeah. They're interrupted by a doc outside shooting saying that he saw something out in the fucking desert. And uh, everyone runs outside, like, what's going on? And this is when uh, Alice and uh, ben, Wade. Ben, ben Wade have a little moment together where he just asks if she's ever been to San Francisco. She's and like, she, I don't want to talk to you. And he's like, well, have you? <laughs> have you? And she's like, no. <laughs> I've never been to San Francisco. She immediately falls victim to the charm. She's like, oh, my. Oh, my. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. Ben Wade. You have two feet. <laughs> oh my! You can 
You can walk with such balance. I've always wanted a husband with two shins. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dan comes in. He's like, "What the fuck is going on here?" <laughs> and then he walks. Rubbing his shin. He walks in and Ben Wade <laughs> rubbing or his wife rubbing Ben Wade's shin. What are you doing, Alice? <laughs> rubbing another man's shin. <laughs> <laughs> they go to um. My nub. They go to their room and they begin whisper arguing with each other. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that's a good. This looking is your nub. nub. <laughs> There's no way that's a good looking nub, especially if it got lost in the Civil War. That's a gnarly. That's a gnarly <laughs> nub. That's probably got fucking toast toe on the end of it. Yeah. So. <laughs> he probably sticks his nub in her vagina. You think? That's foul. I don't think so. <laughs> that is absolutely foul. She probably licks it. <laughs> she probably rubs it. <laughs> the nub. The nub. The nub. The nub. Rub. <laughs> Hey, Rub my nub. You want to give me a little nub, Rub? Come on. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> Rub my nub. <laughs> okay, as long as your birthday. <laughs> You're like, ah. Uh. <laughs> you sighed. <laughs> this is why I never rub your nub. <laughs> Keep rubbing my nub. Well, after the nub, get spit on my nub. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me I'm a terrible soldier. <laughs> <laughs> rated uh, rated PG thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> I looked at the back. It, 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 is, it is rated R. Oh, it is. And I think because of this, because of that scene, it was because, <laughs> because of that nub <laughs> scene. <laughs> the nub <laughs> not that blown up horse. <laughs> Do not watch if easily offended by dismemberment. <laughs> <laughs> well, after the nub rub convo, they're like. She's like, why do you got to do this? She's like, well, $200 gets us. She's, he's like, we don't have no money for next week. We need this money to get to next spring or whatever. And we got the boy, and he's sick. And I have to do this. I've been waiting for God to give me a favor, and he ain't gave it to me yet. He, like, needs to do it to for get his himself. manhood back a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he lost bit. his dick bit. along with his foot a long yes, time ago. He lost yeah, his balls with his foot. He, That's he what we figure out. Literally lost his foot. Figuratively lost his balls. Yeah. Yeah. They're interrupted by uh, Butterfield telling him they got to get going. They head out in the night. Got to get going. Tucker steals uh, Ben's horse, which proved to be a fatal mistake. They set off on their journey. We see Mark receiving his TB meds in a giant spoon. He's like, <laughs> she's like, down the hatch, little boy. And he has a share a bed with her his brother, brother, William. Played by Logan Lerman. I don't think we mentioned that. Logan Lerman. Yeah. For Perks being a And laying next to his dying brother with tuberculosis, which is a very contagious disease. Yeah, what the hell? Just one cough. Share bed. Cough, okay. That's, what, that's how Arthur Morgan went. Yeah. Can't they just build another room on their fucking shack? Anyway. He immediately sneaks out the second the mom <laughs> leaves the room. He's like, shh. And climbs out the window and fucking skeets away. And that's the last we see of Alice and Mark. <laughs> Yeah, they never they never show up again. I guess. No, no. Uh, it cuts back to the uh, group of guys escorting Ben. They're setting up their camp. Everyone's cozied up around the rocks, around the fire. Tucker is giving uh, Ben a strange look, and he's got his goofy teeth out, and he's singing some song. Gonna hang me in the morning. It seemed like he was laying like uncomfortably close to Ben but I guess if they're he had his gun a, out the whole time it yeah like, there's a prison escort I guess he had to sleep yeah. kind of close to him and uh, <laughs> this is when um, uh, Ben starts to ask Dan about like why he's doing the trip when he's got a family and he completely fucking roasts him about his, him not treating his wife good <laughs> yeah. enough <laughs> yeah I wrote that. If I had a wife like you should be way ever and you may he said you treat Alice better that Ben, that Ben would treat. He would That's yeah, fucking cold. we were all like, "Oh damn!" That's a cold thing to say to a man. <laughs> it is. It is. And maybe, Dan's, maybe Dan's like, could. "Shut up! Don't maybe talk about could. her." Yeah. Don't talk about her. 
I fucking take offense to that. Don't talk about her. And she's like, ah, stop, go to bed. Sure. So he just like goes and lays back down. And it shows um Dan sleeping, and we just hear like some weird like stabby noises and like gurgling. And we see that uh, Ben is shanking Tucker in the throat with one of the fucking spiky forks that he stole <laughs> from the uh, from the dinner table. <laughs> Slid into his sleeve. Yep, yep. Uh, Peter Fonda comes over like rifle butts Ben in the face like 700 times and he's like laughing and when he's done getting beat up he's like gonna hang me in the morning so he like absorbed the fucking song from Tucker but that was a pretty brutal scene the fork stab bloody that was the first night of the journey too yeah. <laughs> on the first part of the, the journey, journey I saw a man man La la. <laughs> There's other words. Plants and birds and rocks, rocks and things. things. And was, did you see that Neil Young? Neil Young. Oh, yeah. Been, been searching for a heart of gold. I'm a fucking huge Neil Young fan. I love Neil Young. He said that he wasn't going to allow his music to be on Spotify anymore if Joe Rogan was still allowed to be on Spotify. <clears throat> Because it was that, COVID comment. That, that, that makes COVID sense comments. because uh, Joe Rogan uh, says a lot of things that people don't agree with. Yep. So you should you don't want to share a platform with that guy. Yeah, I guess. Share a billion dollar platform with that guy. With that guy. When there's artists on Spotify that have killed and singing about done terrible things. <laughs> to get it, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 He likes. Yeah. But how dare you he you disagree with something he says. Yeah, that's asinine. Of course Spotify is gonna stick with Rogan on that. He makes Duh. He makes them <laughs> infinitely more money. Shut up, Neil Young. <laughs> Spotify's like, like, you know what, Neil, you're right. You know <laughs> Joe, what, you're out of here. <laughs> Who cares what Joe Rogan says? I don't know why people take so much weight with it. He's just a guy. Yeah, he's, he's just a fucking just guy. A, just a man. But instead you should really just listen to Aiming for the Bushes podcast and yeah. listen to nothing else. Episode eight. 310 to you <coughs> and don't forget the last episode about harry potter and then the one before that i forgot was about elf street that, elf, that was the elm yep. street one yep. and then the one before that was friday the 13th, 13th. And, and before that was the country that. bears country bears yeah and before country, that was school remember, remember country bears <laughs> it was the kicking in the gear and before that was dodgeball and uh, before that was the holes, holes. And that's all the episodes so far. That's, that's all our episodes. That's all that we've done. And you should listen to them all because they're all really good. They're all really good. Ex- except for the holes one. You can skip the holes one. And uh, uh, the Country Bears. And Friday the 13th. And Elm yeah, Street. Ooh, yep, and yep. Dodgeball. Yeah, you can skip that one. Half of School of Rock. At least. You can watch the second half of and School this, Rock. But this one's really good. But this one's good. And you should listen. <laughs> <laughs> this one you should listen to. Harry Potter's too long. Don't even talk. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> it's fucking three hours. Man. I wouldn't fucking listen to that. If you listen to that whole thing, get a fucking life. <laughs> Joe Rogan can do three hour podcasts, okay? <laughs> that was my uh, my way to say it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan does three hour podcasts. Yeah, he's fine. He's We're on the same level. Yeah, there's people that do longer podcasts should, than him. We should, anyway. we should watch Harry Potter. Harry Potter was very funny. Yeah, it's a really good one. Yeah. I, I, we're all very funny. All the episodes are funny because all the hosts are funny. Please watch our show. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell all your friends about our podcast. Watch too. our show. Are you watching? Are you on your phone? Or are you listening? Because if you're listening, that's okay too. But Hello? Are you driving? But we also have a video feed that if you ever want to look at us, <laughs> feel free. A video feed. A video feed. If you need to see a video feed of this transmission, please turn into youtube.com slash aiming for the bushes. Please watch our show. Please watch. That's all I have. Please. That's all I have. Please. Please. <laughs> After the fork throat murder, the uh, escort gang takes off early. In that morning, and it, <laughs> was that you stabbing with the fork? I was. Yeah. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, and we see the uh, Ben Wade's gang members are still chasing after the uh, the decoy wagon 
they snipe the fucking driver and uh, the guy inside the stagecoach wearing Ben Wade's hat ambushes Charlie Prince as he's running up, but he misses like a bozo. He gets his gun taken away, but he's still locked inside the coach. And uh, Charlie's like, you and you from the gang. And then they start pouring shit on the stagecoach like they knew that getting yeah, their name called out brutal. meant it was time to burn. Your job's the gasoline, your job's the match. Fire the guy. Fire guys. Fire, fire guys. guys. Fire guys, time to do your thing. Let's get our fire team in. And there. they start the coach on fire, and Charlie's like, Where are they taking him? Where is he? And he's like, To contention. They're going to contention. They're getting the 310 train to Yuma prison. And then Ben Foster was like, 310 to Yuma, that's the name of this movie. That's the name of Yuma's this in Arizona. picture. Yuma, you, yeah, he's like, 310 to Yuma, you mean the one in Arizona? <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean Yuma, Arizona, do you? It's like, yeah, I do. I'll turn, put, put, turn these flames off. <laughs> <laughs> and he walks away. And then they he they don't get they don't let the guy out. Everything, he, he burns. Everything burns. He burns alive. There was an, a there was almost a moment of uh, them giving up on uh, Ben so they could go uh, with a different leader there. Yeah. But Charlie's like no, and he fucking pistol whips the guy that suggested it. And I'm like we're going to get him. He looked like Burt Kreischer. He did kind of look like Burt Kreischer. <laughs> Not a Burt Kreischer guy over here. Yeah. He's okay. I think you're okay. Thanks. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, it flash, flips back over to the escort group, and they see the gang is hightailing it across the desert toward them. They can see him in the distance, and they discuss taking a different route. What? Nothing. Giving me a weird look. I was looking at BJ. I didn't know if he was giving me. I was making sure he wasn't giving me a weird look. Oh, okay. I was bending over really far. For a second. Well, you should have uh, erect yourself. You know, you won't get respect if your back is not erect. That's a fun little rhyme to remember my posture. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm slouching. <laughs> it's for my Carly. What? What I said about the back thing. It's for my Carly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you knew. I thought you knew that's why you were looking at me like that. <laughs> you won't get respect. I know that's why you were looking at me like that. Like you wanted me to say. Freddie, how am I gonna know if you shuffle, if you double pooed? <laughs> if the shampoo the sun shampoo contract. I refuse to quote iCarly on our fucking podcast. <laughs> what? Carly's fine. Just to know that you double pooed. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. There, I actually do not like that show that much. There are a few things that are funny, but otherwise, as a whole, we were we were a bit major. older. We were a bit older when that show was coming out. So Hannah Montana, great show. Oh my god, Wizards of Waverly Place, great show. Uh, that's so Raven. Zach and Cody. Zach and Cody. Corey in the house. <laughs> Uh, obviously, Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh is the best. Uh, I was a big Zo- the best. I was a big Zoe 101 guy back in the day. It's the type of drama you need when you're 11 and, and an angsty, thir- angsty teenager you know, <laughs> yeah. going through changes. Yeah. Yeah. We had a good, good selection of television. Yeah. Ned's really? Declassified. Ned's Declassified was great. I wrote my own BJ's Declassified. Did you? School Survival Guide. And Ooh. Was that I filled out one page of it and never wrote it again. So. Damn. Probably not going to be able to make a show out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Was it like the same pattern, like notebook that he had, like a composition yeah, book composition or whatever? Right oh yeah, right in the front of it. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. We had some great shows though. Back we did. In the day. Sure did. Sponge, Jimmy, Fairly Odd, Fairly Odd, Jimmy, Fairly Odd, Jimmy, Tim. Danny, Danny Phantom. He's Phantom. Yo, Danny Phantom he was just thirteen. Fourteen. He was fourteen. Fourteen. Sorry. His parents built a very strange <laughs> machine. All his molecules got rearranged when he when he first woke up. He realized he had snow white hair and glowing green eyes, and he could walk through walls and disappear and fly. Uh, he was much more unique than the other guys. And, and, and then uh, Danny knew what he had to do. He had to stop all the ghosts that were coming through. <laughs> <laughs> he's a phantom. And he's here to fight. For, he's here to fight for me and you. He's a phantom. He's gonna catch them all because he's Danny Phantom. He's a phantom. He's gonna catch them all because he's Danny Phantom. He's Danny Phantom. He's that a hero. A that was a great show. I love Danny. I like that I want one a Danny Phantom tattoo. That would be a really good tattoo. Like him with like I, his I like the symbol on my chest. <laughs> the big D. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be um, something. 
Yeah. <laughs> we'll get you we'll get you that one. We'll get you that tat one of these days. Yeah. It'd be it'd be awesome. I'll dye my hair uh, white. <laughs> oh, Danny Phantom would be a cool Halloween costume. I've thought about Danny Phantom before. Get some green contacts. Or, or Aang. I forgot about the last airbender. That was Aang. the best uh, show on Nickelodeon. You could get like some robes and shave your head and paint a blue arrow on it. Yeah. That'd be cool. I probably could. You look, you look good with a buzzed head. We've discussed this before. Yeah, I do. Go look back in the archives. Arch- archival <laughs> images. <laughs> we'll have to dig deep and find one of you. But uh, the gang is, or the group of fellows escorting outlaw Ben Wade decide uh, to take a slightly different path through Apache territory because uh, they were worried about the gang catching up with them. They... Uh, are on their way and Wade and Peter are talking about um, God and Peter brings or uh, Wade brings up how Peter Fonda killed like Indians and how he wasn't as good of a man as he made himself out to be and uh, they talked uh, Wade and uh, Dan talk about why uh, he killed Tucker and he's like oh so I get my horse back or whatever and um, while Wade and Peter Fonda are arguing, he jumps off of his horse, and just like that, he's in charge. He gets um, Peter Fonda's sawed-off shotgun, makes everyone drop their weapons, and Ben Wade just fucking hucks the old man off the fucking <laughs> side of the mountain that they're next to. Just kicks him right off the mountain. Even bad men love their mamas. Sparta. Yeah, just fucking tosses him off. And... Uh, William, the son of Christian Bale, Logan Lerman. Logan Lerman, shows up with a behind Wade with a gun pulled on him, and he's like, "Drop your gun!" And uh, <laughs> William, ben, what are you doing here? William, what are you doing here? And Ben says, "You wouldn't shoot player. someone you admire, boy," which is totally true because he yeah. like looked at him like he had a crush on him every yeah, time. You could you could see his, his erection too. When he was yeah, gun, like, through his chaps, his chaps got tighter. Pretty tight, large mm-hmm. piece on that kid. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the situation is calm down. <laughs> and uh, William is now part of the uh, escort group, and we're down to Peter. But William wasn't, because his again, his dick was huge. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot stress enough how large a piece this kid was hauling around. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why Ben <laughs> dropped the gun. He was afraid of not the gun in yeah. the gun Logan's in hand, in but William's the one in pants. his pants. Yeah, yeah. Poke an eye out with that thing. Mm-hmm. You don't even need a horse if you're Mister Hands. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. You could have fucked. You could have fucked that kid. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once again, it shows my. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like it that. That, felt, that felt that felt good. That felt right. I like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. I thought you said yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said here, here. <laughs> said hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, we're never gonna get to Yuma at this no, rate. Not. It's <laughs> we missed the train. Uh, once again, this group is at a camp. A lot of camps happen, and uh, apparently. Apparently Ben's favorite thing to do is ask people if they've ever been to certain cities because <laughs> he asked William if he's ever been to fucking what's he say? Um, been to Dodge, City, Dodge City. Ever been to Dodge City, boy? And they're like, yeah, Dodge City, Dodge City. And Dan's like, don't talk to him. It's like, don't, talk to, don't talk to my son. That's my son. That's my son you're talking to. If you don't stop talking to my son, I'm going to stand up on my one foot and I'm going to put the little nub up your ass. Stick that nub so far up your ass. You're going to you're you're going to be able to taste it in the back of your throat. And then uh uh William has another erection. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth or fifth of the movie. 
uh, Doc brings up some event of like uh, Ben's gang killing a bunch of people, leaving like a town or something. And he's like, it wasn't a, it was a caravan full. It was a train full. And Doc has like a oh fuck <laughs> look on his face. Uh, and then Ben's like, I gotta take a piss. And he quickly like stand, they like quickly stand up, and Ben and Dan walk over so he can go pee in the gr- in the fucking trees off to the side. And they're talking about their differences and similarities. When all of a sudden Ben is like gone, but he goes and surprises Dan. He's like, shh. And they get start to get shot at from out of nowhere in the mountains. And uh, they run back over to camp and. Uh, Ben has to like escort Dan over there because he's wounded or whatever. And uh, Ben like loads up some guns and like skeets around and blasts all these shooters. And they find out to be Indians because uh, they went through Comanche territory. Native Americans. (laughs) Native Americans. Apache, not Comanche. Native Americans. You're right. Sorry. Can we continue? Ben scoots back down to the campsite, and he's like, all right, give me the fucking keys. I just saved all of our lives from these GD Indians. Just just give them to me. I'm better than all of you. And uh, Dan is, like, going to hand them to him, and he just chucks them out into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> kind of savage move on his part. Kind of was, kind of was. Ben decides to just kick him in the face. Once again, steals the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is knocked out cold and he gets the head on the back hand on the back of the head treatment from Doc. Okay. <laughs> You're okay. Bye. Losing your horses and losing your car. Yeah, and you get stranded out in the desert. You're just dead. Horses were essentially cars back yeah, then. That was yeah. your means of transportation at that time. Yeah. They were trains. Though. Hell, even a, a taxi is basically just horse and carriage. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, but a, a taxi can dr- can go faster than a horse and carriage. Have they yeah, tested that? I wasn't really comparing the speeds there. I was more saying. But you were comparing horses are faster than cars, aren't they? Horses are. Yeah. Well, in Back to the Future Part Three, uh, they tried four horses to drag the DeLorean eighty-eight miles an hour, but it only got to twenty-five. Hmm. Yeah. Do they really think horses could go that fast? No, once again, I was <laughs> you had not to try. comparing the speed of the horses and the taxis. Well, you brought up taxis. I was comparing, okay, the fact that, like, when you get a taxi today, back then, you would have gotten a, 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 a taxi in a horse and carriage. Taxi? Yeah, but taxis are a lot faster Jesus. than horse and carriage. <laughs> <laughs> Taxis are cars. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Thanks, Beach. Uh, we see we see Ben Wade has his gang of horses, and they uh, they show up to a rail a railroad in progress of being built by a bunch of Chinamen and women. They did that. I don't know what else to say, really. And uh, he like goes into some random tent, and he's like, <laughs> "Help me get these off." <laughs> but these me- off. meanwhile, we see there's like the railroad like officials of some kind, led by like Luke Wilson. Yeah, Luke Wilson. He's popped up and some other cameo. bozos. They say a bunch of racist stuff about what used to happen with yeah. forced labor, and uh, so, they notice Ben Wade outside and him ducking into that tent. And then they start shooting at him in the tent, and he's like, Ben Wade, we got 20 guns out here. And Ben Wade's taken hostage once again. Can't catch a break. Can't catch a break. Rough couple of days Rough. for the Wadester. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you're living a life like that, can't, he, he, can't he expect expects anything different. He expects it. He expects yep. it. Yep. He's got uh, his boys, though. Our heroes uh, walk very fast, and they arrive on this railroad construction site as well. And I, I believe they notice their horses first, yep. and they walk up and they see Ben like strung up, getting like electrocuted, electrocuted, <laughs> yeah. which had to have been state of the art. Had to have been state of the art torture by these railroad guys. Head of their time. And uh, Butterfield, the Pinkerton, recognizes the other like sheriff dude there, and they kind of have a bit of a, a bit of a standoff with the railroad workers because they're like, "That's our prisoner," and he's like. 
They're like, is he? He looks like because he looks like our prisoner right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're, the, we're the one yeah. we're shocking him. And Doc like, kind of like sneakily goes to grab the shovel and like, well, we're just gonna get our horses and go. Inches over to a shovel. And then Doc bashes a guy with the shovel. <laughs> Dan like rifle butts a guy, and everybody like goes stormtrooper mode again, and they miss each other. They ride off on the horses. They get the uh, Ben goes yeah, and he kicks the guy in the fucking face. No, gets off of his mount. Gets on off, his off. Gets off of his like little hook they had him hanging on. <laughs> they ride off on the horses. Doc's like, did you see the one I hit with the shit? And he gets fucking shot. And William's like holding them up on his horse. No, Doc. And they uh, collapse one of the tunnels by throwing up an explosive satchel, and Dan blows it up, and they collapse the door. But we lose Doc. We lose. Yeah. We lose two Dick. We so lose two Dick, man. I, I, so he was I, the heart and soul. Of the I game. thought about this. So what? Uh, really, was the point of Alan Tudyk's character? In, like he saved being, um, being with being with them. Because no. when when they recruited him, Travel. the one dude just like you got Doc's gonna go. You got Doc and Tucker going with. Him. He's like what? And he just went with it. But then he he didn't really do anything once he the, like he he had the shovel thing. But I feel like anybody could have done that. And then he got and then he died. Well, you know what? Doc was a pretty brave character. I'm not sure everybody they would have taken with them would have had that that type of bravery in him. But he didn't, he didn't well want to said. Go. Maybe yeah. they brought him with because they wanted to have a doctor with them. That, uh, that is also yeah. nothing. And he and yeah, he took I mean, the bullet. I mean, out I, of that that, that part makes sense. But so he, like he, he yeah. know he can take bullets out of you. Yeah, I don't think I don't. Need be. I don't think they needed to take him with though. They, they, yeah. No, <laughs> he was sacrificed essentially. He was there to die, and and die he did. He's dead. Like right outside of the town they were going to. Also, <laughs> yeah. he died in Christian Bale's arms. He's like, we got him. We got him. Right. We got him. We did. Thanks to you. Do He's you like, have any ketchup <laughs> or coke? Cocaine. Nobody had any ketchup or, or cocaine. cocaine. Or cocaine. That ran out long ago. Yeah. Uh, so they arrive at the town that they've been riding for this whole time. Uh, Dan and William go through the back door of the hotel. Butterfield books them a room. And they go in the room and they kind of get settled in. And it flashes back over to Ben's gang arriving at the uh, block tunnel. And they notice that uh, one of the guys has Ben's gun. And he's like, what are you, some kind of posse? And there's like a little eye looks at each other. They don't even know. And Charlie goes, and fucking blasts them all. He's like, I hate posses. posses. (laughs) Posse, for those of you who do not know um, and aren't super familiar with the Wild West lore, or um, kind of the information and the basics that go on with that. A, a posse is ideally three to five people. Okay. Um, if you go anywhere five plus, that's considered a gang. So you got a posse or a gang? Yeah. How many guys you got? How many guns? Yep. Well, if it's three to five, you got a posse. If you want a gang, you need you need six. You need six to have a gang. If you have six people, that's a gang. <laughs> Any less you got you got you got yourself you got yourself a posse. If you have five, it's a posse. Yeah. If you have four, it's a posse. If you have seven, it's a gang. Yeah. If you have three, it's a posse. If you have eight, it's a gang. And there's a reason why the word posse mm. sounds like pussy because you're all a bunch of pussies for having a posse. You should get a gang. You need more guys. You don't have enough people for a need gang. Need some recruit. Bunch of pussies. Thanks so, for breaking. Thanks for breaking it down, guys. And we see back at the hotel room, um, Ben and Dan are talking about how they wish life was. Um, because we can kind of see that Ben is like a good at heart type of guy, maybe. Yeah, he's got a good soul. Got a good soul, but he's good an outlaw. Spirit. Good, yeah, good spirit. Real good spirit. Good vibe. Good, good vibe. Good vibe. I dig his man. vibes. He's got a sweet vibe. Killer vibe. Killer, Killer vibes. vibes. And Dan ben Wade, or excuse me, Ben Wade does offer to buy out Dan on this little escort mission. Like, get out while you can. I'll give you a ton of money. Clearly, still not going to go well. You can get out of here with your son and be safe. But uh, Dan turns him down because he needs to prove to himself that he can do this. 
and he needs the money for his family. Um, you know his kid's dying, right? He's, he's got, got tu- tuberculosis. Got tuberculosis, yeah, and yeah. he's probably going to give it to William because they share a bed. Yeah, and, yeah. and also, Both his kids are and also, tuberculosis, so. his wife and himself. I mean, they're all in the same house. They're all in the same house, just yeah. being somewhere dry. All it takes is one cough to the mouth. Right. You know what I mean? And Yuma, Yuma is in, um, is in Arizona. That's, That's true. That's uh, f- f- where we are. Yeah. So, Arizona is south of where we are. And Yuma is in Arizona, which is where the train's meeting them. Yep, that's where the train is going. Three ten. Three ten is what time there. That's is, the time the train departs. Is for when Yuma. they depart for you. Right, right. right. How, what time they get there? I don't think we know that. It. De- yeah, I'm not sure how long it would take by train. No, no. But uh, Butterfield returns to the hotel room with uh, the marshal and a couple more men. So we got some backup now to get Ben to the fucking police station more or guns. the train station. Sorry. <clears throat> um. Meanwhile, William outside sees the gang coming into town, runs upside and war- runs upstairs, warns Dan, hey, gang's in town. They're and some coming. townsfolk upstairs like nodded up above like, hey, hey, upstairs, upstairs. upstairs is where your boy is. Way to go. And uh, Charlie yells up stairs. And for some reason, they let Dan or Just Ben talk to his gang. Just have a conversation with him. Charlie? Boys? And um, they cut it. Sh- they do end up stopping it. And uh, Charlie goes around and he tells the townsfolk, "Hey, if you kill one of the captors of Ben Wade, you get two hundred dollars cash money. Cash money." And the townsfolk are like, deal. "Oh, money, money." We see a lady put on a belt, a gun belt, and everyone's yeah, like, a, "How do we get? Lady. How do we get some of that money?" So a lady. A lady. They typically don't shoot guns in this time. Yeah. During this time. Yeah. They sh- all they do is is all they wash do clothes is have sex and with men. <laughs> make <them. laughs> um, <laughs> well, they worked at the saloon. I mean, thus far, all the women in this movie, have all they just have sex. Like the girl from the bar, the bartender that fucked saloon, Russell Crowe, and, and, and Dan's Russell Crow and, and Dan's wife was just Dan's wife. She just made dinner, cried. Was there, was there any other women? <laughs> <laughs> it was, was it, swooned by Ben Wade. Gave, gave Dan a hard time about his lack of leg and the bills. And there was literally three women in this movie. Yeah, women weren't represented That's incredibly, incredibly, incredibly well in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was like three zero women, women in this three, movie. There, yeah, they there, weren't around there's much. Dan's wife, the girl that Russell Crowe fucked, and this this lady with a shotgun or whatever That's the fuck. Yeah. Yep, yep. So and she didn't do anything. She was like. She had half a, a second, a second of second. screen time. She never spoke. We barely saw her face. So the marshal and his boys are like, fuck this. We There's like 30 more guns out there, and we're just four guys. And then uh, they're like, yeah, bye. Butterfield pleads with them to stay. He's like, hey, we need you guys. But they're like, no. And they the marshal and his couple boys like walk outside with their guns up. They're like, all right, we're surrendering. And they just get blasted by all the guns. Members, <laughs> they got shot to shit, and someone in the background's like, "Get a doctor! <laughs> Somebody get a doctor!" They, they are super dead, man. So dead, so dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're super dead. Even, uh, even the doctor is dead now. Even the doctor's dead. Mm-hmm. William asks Wade to call off the guys. He's like, "We know you're not a bad guy. Just go to jail or whatever." And of course, Wade's like, "Or Ben, <laughs> we know you're not a bad guy, but just, just go to jail, Come on, just go to jail man." Wade's like, no, I'm gonna, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I don't want to go to jail. The gang is outside waiting for them to leave the room to go to the train. Butterfield's like, you know what? Fuck this. We don't. I'm not going through with getting him to jail. Just die over it. He offers Dan Evans the money to quit too, but he turns it down. He's like, no, I'm going to get him to the train station, <laughs> and you're going to pay off my land, let the river run again, and pay my wife $1,000. And he's like, I can do that. I can fix that. I can fix that. And the Evans boys say goodbye. William's like, let me help you, Paul. And he's like, no, go to the room. <laughs> I can do this on my own. So gives him some words of wisdom. And uh, the gang is still set up outside, like across the roofs and all this shit for the big battle to come. Uh, they, they need to get their boss back. But Charlie never told them which one was the guy to keep alive and which one was 
the captor. So, so that caused some confusion. Caused a little bit of confusion there. Not very bad communication. Bad comms. Bad comms. Um, before, you, know, you know what I mean. I know what bad comms are. Yeah. Uh, before heading outside to the train, Ben tells choo 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 a chugga chugga. Ben tells Dan about uh, how he lost his dad over a shot of whiskey. Shot of whiskey. And his like mom was uh, gonna get him a train ticket to start new somewhere else, and she gave him the Bible to read, and he read it all the way through. But the mom never came back with the train tickets. And meanwhile, he's like drawing uh, Dan sitting there with his gun at the window, like he was drawing the buzzard earlier. What kind of buzzard was it? Oh, it, it was more of an 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 auger buzzard. An, that 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 auger buzzard he was yeah. drawing earlier. So in his drawing notebook, They're native in Africa, he has an auger buzzard, and then the next page is Dan sitting there with a gun, looking out the window. <laughs> is the sound bird makes? <laughs> <gasps> the clock tolls three, which means we have ten minutes to get to the train station. Yes. So it's time to go. And uh, <clears throat> from from three to three ten within the movie is an actual ten minutes. Is it really? That's, yes. That's, that's, cool. that's true. That's that is true. cool. Yeah. That is well done. <clears throat> Dan is getting or er, Ben is getting escorted by Dan out the back of the hotel, and they're like peeking around looking for dudes and shit. And they start getting shot at from the rooftops. They run and take cover. Dan <laughs> looks down to see that he got shot in the boot. <laughs> and on, his old ben, peg. <laughs> on his peg leg, Ben was like, lucky. He looks down. You got a foot. That's what I mean. There's some benefits to loot that not having That's a the foot. benefit. That's right if you there, get shot right in the there. foot, it's not right there. there. If he didn't have a fake foot, he would have been down. Yeah. That's right. If his foot was there, they would have hurt. Movie over. Yeah. Movie over. Finn. And uh, Ben even warns Dan of another like townsfolk coming around the corner, so he like blasts him. So it's, he's like kind of working with him because he respects Dan. And uh, they're getting blasted by like a whole bunch of people. They dive down behind a whole bunch of boxes in front of a business in town. And this is when Charlie's like, "Wait, wait, don't shoot the rancher!" <laughs> yeah. And so Charlie starts to blast the townsfolk. <coughs> Truly an evil guy, mm-hmm. this Charlie Prince. Yeah. And uh, they. Dan and Ben find themselves inside of like an empty store and they kind of have a little fist fight and uh, Ben is like no heroes <laughs> no one's watching hero give it up and he explains how Dan explains how he actually lost his leg he wasn't a war hero one of his own men shot it off when they were retreating or some shit and that was enough to get um, Ben to want to work with uh, he definitely earned Dan his respect earned his respect yeah, yeah. he's like you know what you, I will let you get me to the train to station. Right by your family and by your boy. Yes, exactly, exactly. He respects your boy that's dying of that. tuberculosis. Yeah, your your boy is. Gonna, we see Ben Wade with a heart die. here. With yeah. a heart here, yeah. and um, with Ben Wade is is full of heart. Yeah, he's full of heart. Real just chappy guy. Yeah. We see the gang outside again, like shooting into the business, and Ben and Dan are on the rooftops, running across, getting across town that way and everyone's just like shooting at them so it's like I'm not sure what they thought was going to happen like they were just as likely to hit their leader as they were the captor yeah. crack open another they make their way down to the train the actual station at the train yard and uh, Dan is hit but he's still going and uh, they off they ask the office attendant when is this train coming and he's just like it's it's, it's behind I guess I just work here didn't even show up on time yeah <laughs> Charlie Charlie becomes one with the herd he like sneaks into this pen so he can get a better angle on them at the uh, little station there uh, Ben reveals that he's uh, been to this jail twice already and escaped both twice. times and escaped El twice. Chapo so they <laughs> I am the call. They bond. They just keep bonding these guys. It's incredible stuff. Yeah, incredible bond. The train finally arrives in a cloud of smoke. They're getting shot at by the gang as they run over to an open door directed to them by the attendant. They get <coughs> Dan. Or I keep getting the fucking names mixed up. They get Ben into the little cell yep. on the train. Three letter names. Three letter names. But our boy Dan just gets blasted by Charlie. He gets shot like six times, dude. Four to six times. No! 
and he kind of just like falls down outside the train and Ben climbs out and he gets his gun belt back from Charlie and Charlie's like that sure was a tough rancher wasn't it and they're just kind of like a moment of hesitation and Ben just like quick draw dead eye blasts all of his remaining gang members like five or six people five or six guys yeah I thought that was a little strange these are his boys and he, he just met Christian Bale like two days ago did and he like turn a new leaf and decided that they were bad? Yeah, but, but he killing, knew they were killing all of his buddies. He knew they're they're all bad guys. Yeah, but so was he. He was a bad guy, but he's good at heart. What if they were good at heart too? They could they could have been redeemed. They could have been redeemed. But he decided that they were re- redead. Yeah, that was an interesting move. I don't really understand. So he reholster reholsters. He's kind of a gun. monster. He is kind of a monster. He did slaughter his own guys. And all Charlie Prince wanted to do was save him. Like, that's all he wanted to do. He was a monster also, though. Burned that guy alive. Yeah, but... Killed the innocent <laughs> guys still, in the town. At the beginning. I mean, they were all bad ben, people. But Ben Wade still decided to kill Charlie, even though all he was trying to do was save him. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucked. It's not good. Not a good, not a good way to repay all your friend who's trying to get you free. All because Christian Bale is a sympathetic, well, one-legged figure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ben surrenders himself to the guard on the train. He holsters his pistol and gives it to the guy. Climbs into the cell. Train leaves the station. Williams like at his dad's body. Oh, I forgot to mention. William released the cows to give them cover to get to the train before they were shot. Yeah. And uh, Williams like. Paul, oh, oh my God! It took this for me to respect you. I'm a terrible son. <laughs> He's like, you did it, you did it, Paul. <coughs> you did it, Paul. He got into the station and he kind of had like a little smirk on his face. He was like, I did it, I did it. He most certainly died. We don't see him. Yeah. You know, when died. people die, uh, they relieve their bowels. Yeah, they shit themselves. They shit. Real so he, hard. he pooped himself. Yeah. Really well, William himself. didn't react like he smelled something bad. So no, maybe nobody in movies maybe ever die. do. Yeah, but they they poop themselves. Uh, as or pee. Well, when you die, do you like? Does it like slowly just kind of? Yeah, see, up? I don't know. You see, your see, your body I don't, just I don't think you die, and you're just like, <laughs> no, no, it comes right out. <laughs> maybe if you have to like poop and you die, it comes I, right out. If you just really have to poop before you die, you should have pooped. I was like, I know I should have pooped an hour ago before I was gonna die. <laughs> you know, I'm pooping in front of my son who just started respecting me, and now he's gonna not respect me. Yeah, You're again, covered in bullet holes because and I shit pooped my pants leg. in my forties. Yeah. Uh, on the train, we see Ben Wade kind of doing the thousand yard stare, and he whistles, and his horse runs up after the train, Red Dead Redemption style, insinuating that he will indeed escape once again for a third time classic wade classic. this should be and that's how the movie ends that's the end of our <clears throat> credits roll our western Finn. Finn. you know man i just love westerns so good they hold a special yeah. place they're wonderful in my Every heart western movie I, I i love western movies i grew up with western movies man. same Outlaw, man Josie Wales. same i can't tell you how many Hang times high, i watched good the bad the ugly fucking conniger my dad, <laughs> I've never even heard of that yeah. one. <laughs> Great movies. Kids, there's this clip of like from a John Wayne movie of this kid who's like, I can't swim. When are you going to teach me to swim? And he just takes the kid in the, the, in the, in the water. Pond, yeah. <laughs> we should insert a little clip of that. Anything uh, else to say? At there? the end of the movie, uh, when the train was was uh, choo chooing away, uh, you said, That's a cool caboose. <laughs> you, wrote, you wrote that down. <laughs> that's the last, that's a that's cool the last thing I wrote. Like a little window part on the top. <laughs> yeah, that's all I, that's that's, all I, that's I think I said everything I, I had. BJ, any other thoughts? Or? Um, you, you drew a lot of penises. Great movie. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell all your friends about us. After our countless hours of Red Dead Redemption online, yeah, this movie came to mind as uh, something we could watch on one of those nights yeah. for sure and yeah. i'm glad we watched it oh yeah man yeah uh, we're also on spotify also on spotify apple music wherever podcasts are, are we on apple music mm-hmm. we're also on apple music 
wherever podcasts are. And YouTube. Well, if there's nothing else to be said. The Royal Rumble's on tonight. So, bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Later. Bye. Peace. Goodbye.